hey guys a few days back you saw android 9 developer preview one for the oneplus 6 on my channel and guess what we have today we have the developer preview 2 that is out for the oneplus 6 now it was actually released yesterday and the reason it is very very interesting is because a lot of oxygen os goodies have been added to this particular rom and this is more of a daily driver and less of a developer or a beta rom now there are still some bugs that are available in this rom but that will not stop you from using this rom as your daily driver and there are quite a few advantages as well for once the phone is much more smoother than it was on oxygen os 5.1.6 with android 8.1 oreo so today's video is not going to be about how to install this particular rom well we covered that in the last video and if you want to know how to go ahead and install this particular rom here's a card to that particular video go ahead and check that video out and the download link for developer preview is mentioned in the description so you can download it from there now what we are going to do today is we're going to look at the major changes in developer preview 2 and we will then decide if it is good enough for a daily driver or not. I'm pretty sure it is good enough for a daily driver. Now, before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time, if you like bikes and motorbikes are your thing, well, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. For now, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's begin. All right, so first things first that we're going to have a look at here. Double tap to wake is working perfectly fine. Now let's just go ahead and unlock the phone here. All right, so the home screen looks almost identical to what it is on stock oxygen OS, so that is not a big big difference and the big difference starts here right at the top now this is a redesigned user interface that is coming up with android p and it is more simple and more clean compared to how it was on android 8.1 oreo now apart from that if you have a look at a few bugs here now you can see that the Wi-Fi is turned on over here but just because the phone is on silent mode the Wi-Fi icon doesn't really show up so if I were to turn it off there you go the Wi-Fi icon has come up so the notch as much as it has been fixed it is still not completely accommodating the status bar now the notch is a problem in this particular version but it's not a huge huge problem for example if i were to go ahead and uh, enable the network speed meter it would come somewhere here and would just see a part of it but that's fine that's not what we are here for we will of course talk about the bugs but we will talk about the major major improvements that oneplus have done now the first thing that I noticed here is as much as the OnePlus 6 was already a beast, it was really really fast but with Android P it has gotten even faster. The transitions are much much better. For example, if you open the camera app, it is much much quicker and if I were to go to settings here, you see that particular transition, let me show you that once again. That's much more subtle, much more smooth. And what you also notice is that the settings menu is much more organized now. It is much more like how it is on Samsung devices with TouchWiz, but that is a welcome addition because with Oxygen OS, it was something a little more cluttered compared to how it is now. If you go to Wi-Fi and internet, Wi-Fi is working fine. Same data usage, the data is working. And the major, major improvement over here is this voice over LT now not only voice over LT is working but it is indeed working on both the sim cards which is a really really good thing now moving back if we go to Bluetooth and device connection now as you see here the connectivity has been moved to a different tab altogether and the network things and related to Wi-Fi and internet have been moved to a separate section so the grouping that Google have done in Android P and it is good to see that OnePlus is complying to those changes as well. We also have apps and notifications over here. These are the recently used app and there are other apps. And if you go to advanced, you have notifications. You can individually go ahead and disable which apps should allow what type of notifications and stuff. You can change default apps. Now, these are pretty much things which were already present. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some major, major changes here. So if you go to the display section, you will see that automatic brightness is working something which is not available in gsi images or custom roms based on android p yet but it is perfectly working fine the phone sleeps well color calibration is now working so you can go to srgb and you can see that the color is changing i normally prefer dcip3 because it is very very color accurate now 
apart from this you have night mode reading mode those things are working but this is where the small bug is if i were to tap on this option which is hide notch area another notch would appear below this particular notch and it would not go away until i reboot the phone so that is one bug it's not a major major bug apart from that you have ambient display now this is something i have been criticizing oneplus for from day one i got this phone now with Android 8.1, Google introduced always on display, which was already a great feature on some high-end Samsung devices. And OnePlus decided not to give that feature. I understand there would be issues like AMOLED burn-in and stuff like that. There would be battery concerns and it was in fact available, but yes, it is not there. It is just your ambient lift up display. Now, if you go further, you now have an option to cho choose accent color now one good thing here is something i've been praying for since i don't know the first version of oxygen os or the first time this particular option was brought into the stable version is that i should be allowed to use custom colors and guess what guys that is available now so you can choose what kind of colorization you want to these switches and maybe your status bar not really but yeah so you can choose that particular theme there so that is really really a good addition by oneplus i really hope it stays there apart from that if you go to status bar you now have an option to display network speed but if you enable it you see it goes to this side so that is another bug here battery style well percentage is still not available so i guess it should be or it would be available in the next update that is another thing auto rotation and stuff is working perfectly fine now if you go to sound are there any major major changes not really everything is working but once again what you notice is that the android p changes continue and once again it's a good thing that they are continuing to do that because if you go to advanced you now have vibration and other things in advance. So it is just something that is more optimized, more organized, what looks good. Now, the next thing that we need to check here is if you go to buttons and gestures. Yes, that's correct. So alert slider is completely working fine now. You can make the changes there just like your stable ROM. And yes, navigation bar gestures are working just fine. So there you have it. So navigation bar gestures are working. Apart from that, you have the home button gestures and other gestures apart from this you can swap buttons there you go and if you go back you have quick gestures so long press to take a photo now basic oxygen os goodies have definitely made their way into this particular version of android p developer preview 2 and that is the reason i have been saying since the start of the video that this is very much a daily driver now apart from this another change that you notice here is you have something called as utilities now what they've done here is a lot of oxygen os features like the app locker the parallel apps the gaming mode the pocket mode they have organized them into something called as utilities now which is a really really good thing compared to how it was earlier like a few few features were available here a few features were available there and that is what made the whole settings when you look a lot cluttered earlier it said android p but now it says android 9 and if we were to check a few more things the security patch level is still 5th of may 2018 so the security patch has not been updated to june 2018 but that's fine and there you have it that is our easter egg so that is basically android p for you guys now apart from this there's not many changes but yes let's talk about the bugs and let's talk about the changes in the multitasking menu here now in normal oxygen os if you were to you know stack your apps like this in a carded way you would normally get something over here to kill all the apps but in android p it is available over here and if you look at the reboot menu there you have it so this is the new reboot menu which is available in android p developer preview 2 of the one plus six the boot animation remains the same the sounds remain the same and as i said earlier this quick setting style has changed so yeah you can add those are circular icons there and let's also look at the launcher now if you go to about now as you can see the launcher version is 2.3.3 which is not really the latest one because in other devices like oneplus 5 and stuff it is launcher version 
All right, so before we go ahead and wind up this video, let's quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers. Now, the model that you're looking at is a OnePlus 6, 64 gigabytes, which comes with six gigabytes of RAM. Now, that is the reason I'm telling you that look at the score. It is 2,91,602, which is significantly higher than it scored last time and significantly higher than it scored on Android 8.1. I'm expecting it should reach at least 300,000 on uh, the 8 gigabyte RAM variant. Now that's the score for N2. Let's quickly go ahead and check what the score would be on Geekbench. All right, so as you can see, the score on Geekbench is 2,469 single core and 8,504 multi-core. So not only the phone feels much, much smoother and much, much faster, the benchmark numbers support the claim that the phone is much, much faster. And at least I am going to use it as my daily driver for the next few days, maybe two to three days later, I'm going to give this particular ROM a full review so that you can decide if you want to use it as your daily driver or not. Now, for now, this is Kailash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. And if you like this video, guys, like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned. Keep smiling. Goodbye.